Four Pakistani nationals were arrested on the outskirts of Bengaluru on Sunday. The suspects, 48-year-old Rashid Ali Siddiqui, his 38-year-old wife Aisha and her parents, 73-year-old Hanif and 61-year-old Rubina, had been living in Rajapura village under false identities. They had assumed Hindu names Shankar Sharma, Asha Rani, Ram Babu Sharma and Rani Sharma respectively. The police arrested the accused based on intelligence inputs after two Pakistani nationals were detained at Chennai International Airport. These two individuals were found with fake passports and later revealed to be relatives of Siddiqui. Further investigations led the authorities to Bengaluru where Siddiqui and his family were living. When the police arrived at their residence, the family was preparing to flee. Siddiqui initially produced their fake Indian passports and Aadhaar cards with their Hindu aliases. However, upon further questioning, he confessed that they were originally from Pakistan. He was from Karachi while his wife and in-laws were from Lahore. They had entered India illegally after a series of events forced them to leave Pakistan and Bangladesh. Siddiqui explained that he married Aisha online in 2011 while she was in Bangladesh. Due to religious prosecution of Mehdi Foundation members in Pakistan, Siddiqui was forced to flee to Bangladesh. However, he faced similar threats in Bangladesh in 2014, prompting him to contact Parvez, a man from the Mehdi Foundation in India. Parvez helped him and his family cross into India illegally via Malda in West Bengal. After entering India, Siddiqui and his family first settled in Delhi, where they acquired forged Indian documents, including Aadhaar cards, passports and driving licenses. Assuming new identities as a Sharma family, they began a new life. Siddiqui also preached on behalf of the Mehdi Foundation, which helped cover his expenses. In 2018, during a visit to Nepal, Siddiqui met two Bengaluru residents, Wasim and Altaf, who invited him to move to Bengaluru and continue preaching. Siddiqui relocated to Bengaluru with his family where they lived in Rajapura village. Altaf covered the rent, while Mehdi Foundation paid Siddiqui for his shows on Alra TV, a YouTube channel promoting Sufism. Additionally, Siddiqui earned money by selling oils to garages and food items. The Mehdi Foundation International is an organization that promotes the teachings of Yunus Al Gohar, a spiritual leader who advocates a religious harmony and Sufism. The foundation's mission includes de radicalizing Muslim youth by promoting peaceful religious practices. However, Mehdi Foundation members, including Siddiqui, have faced religious prosecution in countries like Pakistan and Bangladesh due to their unorthodox beliefs. A case has been registered against Siddiqui and his family under various sections of the Indian Penal Code including Section 420 for cheating, Section 468 for forgery for cheating and Section 471 using a forged document. They have also been charged under sections of the Passport Act for obtaining fake documents and illegal entry into India.